Hey there, welcome everybody. Okay, so I finally, finally have my Halloween set up. Like, I like it. And I'm going to start doing some really, really good, hopefully, um, bath bomb demos for you guys like I had intended this month to be like. So let me go ahead and um, kind of give you a little tour of the way I've got the bathtub set up. So this guy right here, he's kind of just obviously giving us a warning that, um, I don't know, this bath bombs might be dangerous and we should swim at our own risk. I think that's kind of cute. And I got him, and I know you guys or some of you guys are going to ask, so I'm just kind of going to give you a little, um, you know, where I got everything or whatever. Um, I got him at Costco last year. I got uh, about a dozen of these guys and I had them on the outside of my house last year. So I just pulled him up from the basement and the little skull candles I got at Walmart this year and the little, um, the little danger, they're just like window gels. And I've had these candlesticks. There's one on the other side, which is forever. And the little skull came from the dollar store. And this guy came from the dollar store last year too. I made this wreath a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it with just, um, I got the wreath. It's just one of those kind of wicker, um, like little branchy wreaths. And I put um, spider webs on the back of it. And then the just same kind of black netting that's over here on the window and just the little um, like dollar store bag of bones and it's all just hot glued. Um, of course, that's just, you know, the little creepy little dollar store netting on the window and there's my other little um, candlestick holder and dollar store skull. So anyway, that's just what I put together for this little set for you guys and I just, oh, I love it. Um, it was just fun to play with all my Halloween decorations. And um, so I've got a great bath bomb to do for you today. And it kind of goes with this theme, so I'm really excited. So let me go ahead and um, break to go grab my bath bomb and I will get it in the water for you guys. I can't wait to show it to you. So hang on just a second. All right, guys. So the bath bomb I have to demo for you today is no joke. And I think my camera's shaking or my other hand is shaking a little bit because this thing is so big. Okay, so it's two and a half pounds. And it's not just as big as it looks in the front. When you turn it to the side, it is that wide too. It is seriously the size of my head. It is probably the heaviest, you know, it is. It's the heaviest bath bomb that I've ever had. It's awesome. It's so insane. Like I can't stand it. I've had it for a couple of weeks and I've just not been able to just stand not doing it. But I just, like I told you in my last video, I was just trying to think of exactly how I wanted to do it and when I wanted to do it. And this bath bomb, it just, it deserves this setup. It's got behind it. So this one is from Spoil Yourself Silly and I've done a couple of their bath bombs before and Robin and her talented daughter Elisa, she's just 19 years old, but they own this company together and they're just awesome. So like I said, I got this a couple weeks ago and I just have not been able to wait to do it, but I get to do it today. So it smells like sweet orange chili and that's just an awesome scent too. So um, I have not ever had that scent before and it's just really awesome. I've been smelling it just um, little by little for the last couple weeks. So I just cannot wait to get this in the water. So let's just go ahead and do it and um, we'll see if it floats because I'm very, very curious to see if it does. So um, let's just do it. Let's, let's get it in the water and see. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Yep, she told me it would float. <laughs> it was just so hard to believe because it's so big and so heavy. Wow, look at that. Oh, it smells so, so good. That orange is so bright. Look at that. Happy October, you guys. This is what it's all about. Look at that 
phone. Oh my gosh, this smells good. I want to pick it up so bad. It's on the other side, and I know I don't need to do that. Look at that. It's just my tub is just filled with that awesome foam. So I know that this is going to have bubbles too. So I don't know if she's taken orders for these or not. I know that they do mostly wholesale orders, but I will definitely have her links listed down below so um, you can message her and ask her if you're interested. Let's go down here and check this out again. It might be close to being done. Goodness, it smells good. So I'm excited to see what color this water is. I know it'll be some form of blue. Wow, what a fizzer that was. Okay, 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 okay. Let's check out the watercolor. Let's just, let's just do it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. That's so awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, now my skull's gone. I, I'm glad I had it for as long as I did, though. I really am. Oh, wow. It smells so good. Yeah, I haven't ever had um, anything quite like this. It's sweet orange, but it's different. It really is different than just plain, plain orange. So, and I can't tell. Hers always have shimmer in them. I think you can pick that up. They've always got the really, really pretty teeny, teeny, tiny shimmer that I love. So, I just can't wait to get in here, you guys. Okay. Um... I'm going to try to get to my jets. I might have to move my candlestick, but um, I'll be right back. Just hang on a sec. All right, so this is also turn on your jets at your own risk because this might jar everything on my little ledge, and everything could go falling in, and that would kind of be a show for you guys too. So I don't know. We'll see. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> that would be awful. I'll be back in a minute, let you guys know how it was. 
All right, guys, so I'm done with my Rum Runner's Fate bath, and as I suspected, there was a lot of shimmer in this balm, and as you can tell, it's teeny tiny, like dust shimmer, and that's exactly what I love. I absolutely love it. So there's none left on my skin, but I really, really enjoyed it in the bath, and that's just gonna rinse right down too. Also, this balm was super, super moisturizing, and she tells me that um, they put cocoa butter in their bath bombs, so I'm sure that's what was in it that made it so soft, but I don't need a lotion, I don't need a body butter, I don't need anything like that. So between the, the sparkly dust and the cocoa butter in there, it was just awesome, and the scent is still lingering on my skin and in the bathtub, and I just thought that this balm was really, really fun, and um, I don't know, just um, if you're interested, like I said, I don't know that she is doing individual orders right now, but you could definitely message her and see. Um, I will have all of her links listed below, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this demo and my little decorations that I did for you guys. I enjoyed doing them and I'm going to have some more skulls and um, so you'll probably see this decor a little bit longer, but um, I hope you enjoyed it, you guys, and thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.